Hello everybody, now we're getting so close to 100,000 subscribers, but we need your help. Please, before this video starts, press that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and enjoy the video. What's going on everybody, Jamie here from FM Scout. In today's video, I am bringing you a potentially another exploit. Now, I'm not sure if it is an exploit or if it's just a workaround. This is for you guys to decide. Apologies if you guys already know about this. I literally found out about this yesterday and I thought I wanted to share it with you guys straight away. So I haven't done a massive amount of testing, but I've done enough testing to know it works. And a big shout out to James Harcourt from our Twitter. If you want to drop him a follow, the link is in the description if you find this extremely helpful like I have. And I honestly think this could kind of change the way you play Football Manager going forward. More like how it used to be played a few years ago. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into it. So you can see on your screen right now, the intake screen. A screen that many years ago used to be the screen that everybody used to play with or be on all the time. But like in the recent years, you, you know, it's really hard to sign intakes. It goes either one of three ways. You either go to the place profile of someone that you might like the look of, you try and approach to sign, and generally 95% of the time you get this. Other times you will do your scout reports on the players like this, and by the time the scout report comes in, of course, the player's already signed a contract at his club. The other option would be to obviously highlight the players, add them to a shortlist, go to your shortlist, and then find the players that you want to scout, who's got higher value and stuff like that, and then go from there. Now, what if I told you there was a workaround where I could sign this guy who is not currently interested? I'm, really, I'm actually really excited to show you this. So, what I'm going to do, again, apologies if a lot of you guys knew this. I spoke to a lot of my moderators on Discord, and none of them knew it had been playing it for a long time. So I'm just going to do one example. I'm going to give you a few examples of how it can work in different leagues as well. Though, like I say, I've not done a massive amount of testing. So you guys can maybe let me know in the comments if you do successfully sign a lot of players like this. So Josh Phillips, we are currently Everton. So, you know, ideally we want to find some good players. But I want to show you first what happens with the players who aren't interested. So I'm going to literally right click and I'm going to offer him a trial. I'm going to offer him a week trial. I'm going to go forward, so let's just go forward a little bit. He, the club, Everton, uh, the club Chelsea, sorry, literally accept the trial. So 95% of the time, the club, if the player's not signed the contract, will accept that trial. Now, I think that may be the exploit, because I don't know why they would do that. So maybe that's the exploit. If we accept that, and then it's literally within a day, the guy's got a four-star reputation, a four-star potential, he's willing to talk to me. And I can go ahead and sign this guy. Now, of course, compensation is always the case in all of these. So you will need some money to do this. But if it's a five-star potential player, and you know, then the negotiation is kind of up to you guys. If he's a five-star potential player, you know, you, you've got to give him a good contract to, to force him to join you. But how crazy is that? The fact that he wouldn't talk to me, and then I literally gave him a trial, which I don't think Chelsea should have allowed... And then all of a sudden, he can talk to me and I can sign him. So don't forget, once the player joins, you can go onto the player's profile. That literally took a day for him to join. If that, I don't think. Yeah, we're still on the same day. So rather than waiting ages for a scout report and then in that time, he might have left. You can look at his report. You can look at his potential ability and just to see if he's, how he fits in your team. And then you can look at the coach report just to see if there's any, any differences. But again... Make sure that, you know, the coach reports and stuff are by good staff. Your, your scout report is good in terms of your potential ability and, and judging. Well, that is obviously based on your guy's team. So, I mean, there's other ways to do this. Now, there is a lot of bad intakes. We all know this. So, one thing that you could do is when you go to transfers, go to your intake. You could filter out the ones that you want to trial because I think you can only trial 30 players at one time in a club. So you need to be very careful of the players you're bringing in because you might miss a lot of good players. So you can add these players to a shortlist is the other option and then go to the shortlist and then you can look at the shortlist and you can filter it by value. So a good indication of a player's good potential is his value. 
again you've got also personality you can look by personality you can look by attributes for example determination it's a good way to to filter out the good ones i generally go by value i know in england a lot of the the, the high valued players are generally the best in regards to potential ability but that's your guys choice how you want to do it but bear that in mind regarding the scout and the potential ability the the current ability and yeah it's just like like i say you can only trial 30 at a time so you've got to be very careful now let's take this a little bit further let's go to the transfer let's go to world let's go to transfers let's go to intake and let's obviously filter out to England. But let's let's try and take this a little bit further with Everton, shall we? So what we're going to do... Obviously, we've got Chelsea, Man United and Arsenal's intakes. We're going to right-click. We're going to actually see if we can trial all of them. So we're going to go to transfer, offer trial. For one week. For 24 players. We can do all them trials if we wanted. So you can see it. You can see right here. Let's go forwards. I'm going to show you live on, live on now. So you can see... Look at this. Every single club has accepted. I don't think there was a single one that hasn't rejected so far. Now, the player might reject you, but 95% of the time, as you can see, you they all accept. Now, I, I don't know if this is an exploit or I, I don't know if it's a workaround. I, I'm really not sure. Now, like I say, some players will generally just reject you, but this is a really good way of getting the players quick. If it's not an exploit... And I think the fact that you can get them very quick in your inbox and you can see this right here makes it makes it all the worth the while for me. And I honestly never knew about this. So even if it isn't an exploit, the fact that I've told you about now you can trial these players, I think hopefully you guys enjoy this. But I'm going to show you it for Brazil as well shortly. So let me just get all these in and see if there's actually anyone decent. Let's go back. There's a four-star player. That's that Josh Phillips. And it looks like these players, the ones who tend to take a while, generally don't accept, unfortunately. One of them is that Terry Woodman, the guy that I've just been noticing him, the guy who's valued at 3 million. So if they've got a really high value and stuff like this, they, they might not accept. They might just want to stay at Chelsea. I mean, let, let's check, but let's just see if he joins. I've got a game. Let me just go on holiday for one day. But even if you can't, like... There's definitely a chance for you to find five-star potential players. And I'm going to prove this to you in a second when it comes to um, a bigger team like Tottenham and then going to Brazil and finding players. So we've just actually had our intake. But if we just go forward and let's show you... Actually, some more of them accepted. So Munoz, jo Joshi Munoz accepted. Um, but yeah, that Woodman rejected, unfortunately. If we go forward... So it's, let's say we're on Everton on a normal save. We've just bought in these guys on trial. You know, there's there's no five-star potential player, but they might have been in, in other nations, you know? Like Josh Phillips is four-star. Benjamin Antwi is four-star. One-and-a-half-star potential already. Look at that guy. He's got 18 flair. He's 16 years old. If you've seen this guy in your intake, you'd be very impressed, right? So, yeah, it's, it, I, I think it's really interesting. It needs a lot more testing. But, I mean... It's something new that I've learned, and I'm really happy about this because I've absolutely hated not being able to find or just scouting the players in the intake, and it taking too long, and then eventually they sign their contract, and you can't sign them, and you're spending money on, of course, scouting them players. But let's try it something different now with Tottenham, with a team in Brazil. Okay, we've taken over Tottenham now. Let's go and head to the world tab we're going to look for brazilians so let's go to transfers let's go to youth intake and let's look at the brazilians so corinthians have you can see there's a lot of intakes from brazil right here some of them are a few days late so let's see if this works now you'll see the message that will go over the trial limit so i'm just going to do this on average and hopefully we get a good five star potential player i'm going to go down here i'm going to right click i'm going to press transfer I'm going to press offer trial for a week. I'm going to do the same for these teams. I'm going to right click and I'm going to press offer trial. So we've got about 50 players. Now with Brazil, Brazil's a little bit different. Sometimes the players have already accepted contracts as soon as they go in. Like you can see here, there's no approach to sign with this guy. So the club will always reject that offer because he's already signed a contract. So, you know, don't be too disappointed. 
if then players, of course, have already been signed to a contract. It's just un it's unfortunate, basically. And yeah, you'll see the reject message for that. But let's go forward and let's see how many actually accept. So I've got 84 messages. So you can see, let's go. So you've got, you know, a few ones accepted there. He's rejected, which I'm assuming is a guy who's already signed a contract. Um, you can see there's, I mean, there's quite a few rejected and quite a few accepted. So we've got a lot of players coming in, but I'm going to see if I can find and sign a five-star potential player. So let's go forwards. Of course, we can only have 30 trials. So you'll see some of them do get a but definitely more than there you go so you can see a lot of these trials have been cancelled which again comes down to a lot of filtering in terms of the ones that you want to trial whether it's based on like i say personality anything like that but you can see you can see how many have actually joined and this is based on the tottenham team which is very good so let's see if we can find any five star players i'm not going to look i'm just going to miss it and hope hope for the best when i look at the squad but look how many players have actually signed right here I'm not going to look at the right-hand side. Any more? Maybe some more? Yeah, a lot more, yeah. Let's accept these. So we've got exactly 30 coming in, I think. So let's just accept all of these. That should be it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So no more coming in. So you can see right here, all of these trials have just joined. And there's a five-star player straight away. There's a four-star, Jaja, and a five-star player called Renan who is currently from, I don't know where he's from. It just says he's on trial for Tottenham. But there's a five-star player here. So what I'm going to do straight away, I'm going to actually approach to sign this guy. Now, with Brazil, don't forget, they can't join you until they are 18 years old. So the good thing about this is you could get the Brazilians, have them train in Brazil for three years or two years or whatever, depending on their age, and then you can sign them. So... Don't forget, if they are a five-star player, you guys need to play it safe in regards to contracts because the chances are they will probably accept a contract at their current club if the offer isn't decent. Now, I'm prepared to pay a lot of money for a five-star potential player. If I'm a Premier League team, 14k to me doesn't really make a difference and I'm quite happy to see that disappear. So let's have a look if he actually joins because I'm intrigued. So let's go forward. It might just take me a little while to sim this. But let, do let me know in the comments, guys, what you think to this. Because, I, like I said, I had to show you straight away. Once I got told about this, I just felt like I needed to show you because I, I was kind of shocked, I'm not going to lie. The fact that, I, I don't know if it is an exploit. I don't know if the fact that they offer, like, they allow the trial to happen despite be, already being on trial at another club. Is that the exploit? I, I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm just going to go forward and see if this guy joins. Just to show you. Might take a while. He's probably going to have to try and go for a work permit. But if he, if, if it is going for a work permit, it means he's accepted. Let's have a little look. Um, it's still being bidder for right now. So yeah, but honestly, like I say, please do let me know. Now let's just go forward and see what we get in terms of messages. For this guy. A five star potential Brazilian. Like you can't You can't go wrong, right? I've, like, I've not tried it in other nations, so I think it, it works better for players in your current nation in regards to, like, homegrown players. But you can obviously do it, in, like I've just done it with Brazil. In, also, the work payment got rejected, so he's actually accepted the contract. So all I need to do now is appeal and go through this. But it, it does need testing in other nations. Maybe someone who's doing a, uh, maybe a, Brazil, a German save. Maybe you guys could try it for me and just try it everywhere but the main thing about this is you've got to be quick so you have to be quick in regards to when they come through on their transfer intake because otherwise if they sign that contract they won't allow the trial so that is the main thing about this if i go to youth intake again it's honestly worth just using this this little date section here and and just having a look honestly daily if you know that the brazilian intake is going to happen in september just check it daily and daily in September until you start seeing them come through. The quicker you do it, the better wonder kids you're going to get, unfortunately. So, yeah, make sure you do that. My name's been Jamie. Hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a like if you have, and I'll see you all next time.